We want to move right now to St. Petersburg. That is where Ron Kelly Chris is giving his November. victory speech right now. And we got a great ticket. You know, tonight Floridians nominated Val Demings to be the first. It's great. The first African American woman to represent Florida in the United States Senate. And together, we are going to make voices heard for you again in Washington and Tallahassee. Thank you, Freed, for fighting the good fight for the last four years in Tallahassee. We share the same goal, to save our state and defeat DeSantis. Hey, listen, you know this as well as I. The stakes could not be any higher for this election. Our fundamental freedoms are literally on the ballot, my friends. A woman's right to choose on the ballot. Democracy on the ballot. Your rights as minorities are on this ballot. That's what's at stake in this election. Make no mistake about it, because this guy wants to be President of the United States of America, and everybody knows it. However, when we defeat him on November 8th, that show is over. Enough. You know, I'm sad to say, I no longer recognize the leaders of the Republican Party. They're extremists. They want to turn back the clock on our freedom. They're trying to undermine our democracy in ways no one could have ever imagined. That stops here. That stops now. And it stops with our Florida. This is the most consequential race in the history of our state. And when we win in November, we will send shockwaves across this country. I proudly served as your governor once before, and unlike the current governor, I represented every Floridian. Regardless of what political party they belonged to, or how much money was in their wallet, or even who they loved. Together, we made it easier to vote. We stopped huge electric rate increases and we lowered insurance premium costs on your property. We fought the special interests and together we'll do it again. We can unite Democrats, independents, and many Republicans who care about our Florida and we will defeat Ron DeSantis. <laughs> when I'm honored, when I am honored to be your governor again, we'll build a Florida that is a Florida for all, for all of us. Together, we will restore our precious freedoms that Ron DeSantis is taking away. On day one of my administration, I will sign an executive order protecting a woman's right to choose. We will stand up to the special interests and finally lower your electric bill and your insurance bill. We did it before, we'll do it again. We will protect your right to vote and make it easier, not harder to vote. Election day in Florida should be a statewide holiday. We will protect the rights of small business owners to do what's best for their employees and their customers. That's the American way. And when I'm governor, I will restore Andrew Warren to his duly elected position as state attorney in Hillsborough County. You know, the truth is this governor couldn't care less about your freedom. He's abusive. He is a bully. He is a bully. And he's dangerous. He is dangerous. He imitates the worst authoritarian leaders on the globe. And it's all a political game that he's playing. He wants to appeal to the extremists across the nation as he seeks the Republican nomination for governor in 2024. He won't condemn hate or extremism like the Nazis running around our state waving his flags 
and spreading anti-Semitic hate? Are you kidding me? And he stays silent when his own lieutenant governor calls for Cuban migrants to be bussed out of our Florida. Unbelievable. Guys, this is simple. Governor DeSantis only cares about the White House. He doesn't care about your house. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the DeSantis propaganda machine. He doesn't promote freedom. He takes freedom away. But we can put a stop to this wannabe dictator. If we work together, stand up to this bully, we will defeat him in November. And this is true. This is true. We welcome Democrats, independents, and Republicans to join us in this fight. Everyone who wants to protect freedom and protect democracy, who is tired of getting screwed by powerful special interests, we need your help. Together, we'll restore decency and civility to the government of the state of Florida. I try to live by the golden rule. It is my North Star. Everyone should be treated the way you would like to be treated. And I pledge this to every Floridian. I will listen to you. I will respect you. And my door will always be open to you because you're my boss, the people. A great president once said that our government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. I believe that in my heart and soul. The people are the boss. Since May of 21, we've been at this for a while. We've been building a campaign for all Floridians, and we need your help to pull this off. Together we can make history, and we will shock the world. But this is a unique moment in time. This is a special night. What happened here was not a mistake. And what happens November 8th won't be a mistake either. So raise your voices. Let's work like hell. Let's fight for actual freedom. And let's bring our beautiful state back together. God bless you and God bless Florida. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it, Charlie Chris giving his victory speech in St. Petersburg. And I want to bring in Jim DeFeedy and look at my notes, Jim, as we look at the uh, numbers, 60% of the vote compared to Nikki Fried. He called Ron DeSantis a dictator. He compared him to Nazis. He intimated that he's anti-Semitic and then accused the uh, lieutenant governor of wanting to bus Cuban migrants from South Florida to the Northeast. This is going to be a slugfest, isn't it? It seems to me that Charlie Chris has been waiting for this moment for eight years. Uh, it certainly is. He's showing that that he's not going to, while civility is important in, in the way he wants to govern, he's not afraid to throw some punches in this, in this race as we get into what will be a very nasty race. Look, Charlie Chris, as I said earlier and I've said throughout, you know, this is an uphill climb for him. You know, Ron DeSantis has $130 million or more in the bank. He's going to blanket the airwaves with commercials. We've already begun seeing them. You know, he is riding high with national reputation. You know, a line that, that I heard from some of the Chris people in the days leading up to tonight's election was, you know, Ron DeSantis is more interested in the White House than your house. I think that's going to be the uh, part of the drumbeat as well, that Ron DeSantis has forgotten about Ford and is already moving on to a national campaign. We've seen him in just recent weeks. Just a week ago, he was he was up in Pennsylvania campaigning for Republican candidates there. He was in Arizona. That sort of thing will continue. And so they're making that case. And with regard to the, the comments about uh, busing Cubans, this, this came about because Jeanette Nunez really stuck her foot in it in a radio interview on Spanish language radio saying that uh, maybe it's time uh, she supports the governor's idea of sending, sending Cuban refugees up to Delaware. And she's been having to try to explain and backpedal from that position ever since and you've seen the Democrats rally around it and to sort of say well, hey look you know really you think uh, Ron DeSantis best represents Hispanics in the state of Florida think again Jim, uh, Florida is a very expensive state. You know this very well. You have the Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale market, Orlando, uh, Tampa. It takes a lot of money. And you mentioned that, that Ron DeSantis has, what, $130 million. Could that make the difference in this campaign? 
money money typically makes a difference but he, here's what I will tell you in, in talking to the Chris folks they tell me that they'd like to be able to land with they know they can't match Ron DeSantis for dollar for dollar uh, they don't believe they need to either they think that if they can raise 25 million or so they can get enough TV on the air the 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 point being is that Everyone knows who Charlie Chris is. Everyone knows who Ron DeSantis is. There's no education in terms of trying to get people. They both have huge name ID. So this is a clear choice election. Do you want to continue with what we've seen under Ron DeSantis? Do you like his policies? Do you like the way he handled COVID? Do you like the, the bills that he's introduced in the Florida legislature? Or do you want something different? Charlie, is that something different? And so that's the contrast. They don't feel they need to be inundating people on on air to make that case they think the voters get it and now it's just a question of of convincing people and energizing people who may not have voted before to turn out yeah it sounded like you said you want to stop Ron DeSantis now before he continues on to the White House we have a lot to talk about Jim DeFitti we're going to do that on CBS 4 News at 11 o'clock over on our airwaves thank you very much Jim